Hey guys, Tater from Hank's Game Calls here, and I've got in my hands the Deadly Five series of mouth calls that you can find at Sportsman's Warehouse. Now each one of these calls has got a different cut and a different reed material on it, and it's gonna provide a different sound as you run it in the woods. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over each one of these calls, kind of what they excel at and what we typically use them for, the difference in the sounds, and then I'm gonna step back and I'm gonna run my favorite out of the bunch just so you guys can hear what it sounds like. Uh, the first one up is the Reaper. Now this is a split V call. It's a three reed with a heavier red top reed. Now a lot of times this call is real raspy. It's one of our favorite calls because a lot of times for beginners it's easier to get that rasp and kind of that old hen sound out of it. The next two calls is the Death Wish and the Devastator. Now both of these are what's called a combo cut. The difference being um, one of them's got a red top reed, the same as the previous call. One of them's got a green, but they're cut on different sides. If you run your air out of the right side of your mouth, you're going to want to get the death wish. Now if you run your air out of the left side, you're going to want to get the devastator. And what I mean when I say that is, that's where the bigger cut in the top reed is and that's where you'll still be able to get your clear front end note from your yelp. If you run it out the right side and you put this call in, which is cut out for the left, it's going to be raspy the whole, the whole way through. You'll have a harder time getting that clear front end on your yelp. Uh, the next call up is the Venom, which is my personal favorite. It's a bat wing. Um, two natural latex reeds on the bottom with a heavier blue latex on top. It's kind of an in-between call. I can really lean on this call and get raspy when I need to, or I can tone it way back and get some soft, clear yelps on it. Um, it's cut out on both sides being a bat wing call, so really it's, it's not as critical as far as which side you present your air to um, to get a front end on the yelp. So this is the one I'll be running in just a second so you can hear. The last call in the Deadly Five is the Fatal Persuasion. Now this is a two and a half reed ghost cut. Um, if you have a fall season, ghost cuts are real popular. A lot of guys like to kiki on them. Um, in North Carolina, we don't have a fall season at the time, so, um, but it's still a great call. A lot of people really like it. Um, you can pair this up with one of the, uh, either the Reaper or the Death Wish, and then you've got a call that's real raspy and kind of a clearer call, so you can throw two totally different sounds to the birds while you're hunting. Um, but that's the Deadly Five. Um, I've got my personal one here in my pocket. I've been running on the way out here. So I'm going to step over here and run it just a little bit so you guys can hear what it sounds like. So as you hear, it's kind of a kind of a do-all call for me. I can tone it down, do some clucking purrs on it, um, soft tree ups when I need to, but I can still really lean on it real hard and cut and get a good raspy, you know, sharp cut out of it and some good assembly yelps and stuff when need be. So be sure to check these out at your local sportsman warehouse. Check out all the other Hanks game calls we got there. There's a lot of pot calls there as well. Um, we appreciate you listening and being there. Thank you.